Hello and welcome to PhotoTouch Plus. My name is Martin Pehiniak, and in this video I'm going to show you one of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5. I'm going to talk about the retouch improvements in the application. One of them is a new way of using the spot removal tool. So let me show you this example, the first one, uh, where I would like to get rid of a couple of distracting elements from this photo. So I'm going to press D to select the develop module and here I need the spot removal tool which you can always access by pressing Q as well from the keyboard. Now once you have this tool I'm sure you remember that mainly what we, ca we could use this for is to get rid of spots from the image which are usually the dust in the lens or on the sensor so if I zoom a bit closer here you can see one good example of it and I can use the scroll on my mouse to change the size of my brush and then I click on it and it will automatically get rid of that part so this is the overlay which shows me that this is the area which I retouched and that's the area which is used for the retouching. And these circles I can always make changes to their size, I can move them around so the source and the destination as well we can always change them around like that. And if I press H on the keyboard I can hide the overlay and I can also uh, turn on and off this switch here to see how it looked before and after. Another useful thing to know is that you can change the tool overlay. Uh, it's set to auto by default here in Lightroom 5, but you can always change it. Auto means that you will only see it, the overlay when your cursor is above the image. So if I take it away, then it hides it automatically. To be able to zoom in and out, you have to hold down space. So I hold down space, click on the image, and then I zoom out. I can add as many of these uh, spot removals as I want and uh, I can always check how they look but this is not what I wanted to show because this was already available in previous versions. What is new is the way of using it as a brush. So now you can decide not only to use it as a circle but also as a brush. Let's see how that works. I make my brush a little bit bigger, something like that and I can draw over this part here. When I let go, Lightroom will do exactly the same thing as before, but now it's using an area, not just a circle, to replace that part which I wanted to retouch. Once again, let's see how it looks. That looks great. Let's just draw over this part, and then that, and then another part here, just to even out the grass a bit. And now we can have a look, and it looks great. Now we can do even more complicated uh, adjustments like let's go a little bit further to the right here and maybe I would like to get rid of this couple then again I can either use the circle and click on them and then move that circle around or I can also just press backspace to get rid of this and make my brush much smaller and be more accurate about what area we need to get rid of so that part there and then we can always find a, an area which can be used for the change. That looks great. Okay, now I zoom back and you can imagine we would be able to do the same thing with all these other parts of the image. But what I would like to show you is another image. Uh, let me just go to the next photo which I prepared here. And um, on this one I would like to get rid of the cables here on the left. So once again, I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. I might zoom in, but I changed the zoom ratio to one to three. That will be good for me. That's it. And now let's see what happens if I make a selection of this part here. So I want to retouch that part. And uh, if I zoom out, we can see that it found this as a good uh, point for reference and that did a really good job. Let's see before and after or without the overlay. It looks very good. We can always move this around as well. We can move it down and good to know that you can change the spot removal to clone or heal. Heal usually blends in better so I will keep it on heal and uh, let's have a look at it again. That looks really good and um, I can always move it up a bit just to make sure it covers everything. And then we can also draw over this part here and if I want to move the sample point around I can always find another one. I can even go 
way up so it doesn't have to be that close to the point which I retouch and then I can also retouch that part there on the top um, let me just draw over it and now it's gone and we can even use it on areas like this here I make my brush smaller and I'm going to draw over this white paint from the wall it does a great job even though there's a lot of change in tone from shadow to the bright details it still works really well and we can also use it on this part here so you can see how much faster it works combining either use it as a circle or as a brush and just as a final step I would use another new feature in Lightroom uh, the upright feature which I'm talking about in more details in another video here on PhotoTouch Plus that is under the lens corrections and I'm just going to choose enable profile corrections and choose auto which will straighten up the image and maybe I can just cut it a little bit this uh, line here on the right just to make sure I have a nice composition like this now let's go to the next example where I will have to do much more uh, changes. I would like to clean up completely the ground to have a nice uh, photo. So I'm going to again press Q to use the brush, make the brush size a little bit bigger and then we can start drawing. It's also good to know that we can hide this uh, panel at the bottom by pressing F6 and that will help us to see more of the image. That's much better. So now we can continue drawing over these parts and I'm always just checking what happens if there's something uh, too obvious in the resampled areas. But so far Lightroom did a good job. Now this will be a little bit more difficult one here. It's a big area which I have to cover. Let's see what happens. It actually looks very good. But if I press H I can always move this around just to make sure that uh, we don't have a repeated part there it doesn't look fake maybe I move it a little bit further away somewhere here let's see that yeah that looks quite good then again some other parts which I have to get rid of and you can see I'm combining the brush mode with the circle mode again a bigger part here that looks good here again just circle circle so in these cases I just simply click on the image here I can make my brush smaller and retouch that as well now retouch this part here maybe even get rid of this vertical line on the top and even this one here closer to her feet and as you can see everything is perfect now so let's see before and after if I turn this off and turn it on again I think that is a great feature in Lightroom and really saves a lot of time and I won't be able to do this better even in Photoshop. So now that we can use uh, the brush mode for the spot removal, we can actually do much more complicated retouching tasks here directly in Lightroom. And there's one more thing I would like to show you uh, on the next image. So I'm going to uh, switch to the next image, this one. And you might have sometimes problem uh, with finding the spots on your image so once again those dust uh, in the lens or the sensor which will cause these little uh, spots on the image sometimes it's very difficult to find them I can see some of them here but still I have to really look into the image to be able to find them now this is again much easier here in Lightroom 5 because we have an option called visualize spots if you don't see this bar here at the bottom in the develop module you just need to press T to, to show the toolbar and then you can also use a keyboard shortcut it's A to visualize the spots to turn the special view on which will detect all these spots and you can see I have a lot of dust in my sensor which should be cleaned so if I reduce this I can see less of them I prefer to have it all the way on the top so that will really show me all these little details and now I can quickly go through the whole image and just click on these details to get rid of them so I can even draw some parts over using the brush where I can see many of them in one place like that and then let's just check where it took the sample from maybe I move the sample away so it doesn't repeat any of these parts 
again I can go over it and so on and so forth you can see it's much easier to detect these problems in this way than uh, without this special view turned on and uh, I just would like to show you one more thing that when we switch back to normal view we can see how it looks and we can uh, press H just to hide uh, the preview and you can see how much better it looks we can always turn it back on turn it off and what we can always do is when we see these overlays we can hold down alt if we want to remove one so that deletes one or hold down alt and click and drag over an area which we would like to clear so then it, these will be removed it's another very useful feature so whenever you have lots of changes on an image and you want to target a specific area then you can use this keyboard shortcut so alt click and drag so that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, video and that's all about the new features for retouching in Lightroom I hope you liked it and if you want to learn more about the new features in Lightroom 5 make sure to check out the other videos here on Phototouch Plus Thanks a lot for your attention.